Hi everyone, David from Tinker here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Spanish curriculum that Tinker has in your own classroom. And the first step is that you have to log in. Now this step is the same no matter if you have an English license, you're using it for free, or you have a Spanish license. And what you want to do first is you want to come up here to this top right corner, and you want to click log in. And when you click log in, the easiest way to log in as a teacher is to click teacher, and then you're gonna log in with your existing Google or your existing Microsoft credentials. Now Tinker does work with Clever and Classlink, but you have to have your district administrator turn that on first, and you will have to log into those first. But I'm gonna log in with my Google credentials first. If you're logging in for the first time, it'll also ask you to accept the privacy policy here. And I'm gonna log in with my existing Google account. Now the first step when I get into Tinker is I want to set up a class and this is the same no matter if you have an English class or a Spanish class. And one thing to consider as you do this as well is that if you're going to use the Spanish curriculum and some of the English curriculum, whether it be free or paid license, um, you want to have the Spanish curriculum kind of in their own class. And so we're going to talk about that as we set up these classes here. And so I'm going to go to my classes and I'm going to click add class. Now the platform may drop you right into this flow and that's okay too. Now when I get here, this is actually gonna look different depending on how I log in. So if I log in with Google, I have that link Google Classroom button. If I log in with Clever, I have that, that link Google Classroom button becomes link Clever Classroom. If I log in with ClassLink, you know where this is going. That link, class, that link Google Classroom button becomes link ClassLink Classroom button. And if you log in with a Microsoft account, you're just gonna get the Create New Classroom button. And really this button to the right, it works the same for Google Classroom, for ClassLink, and for Clever. The basic idea is that you click it. The one difference with Google is you do have to approve the permissions for Classroom. Clever and ClassLink won't have this. So I'm gonna approve those permissions. And what it's gonna give me is a drop-down list of all of my class rosters. I pick the class roster that I wanna use. So I will pick the class roster that I wanna use. I pick the grade level and then I'm done. That's all I have to do for Google Classroom. If you sign in with Clever and you wanna uh, roster with your Clever rosters, that's all you have to do for that one. Same with Classly. Now, if you want to do this a different way or if you sign in with Microsoft, you have this Create New Classroom button. And this is really helpful to know with the Spanish curriculum because like I said, you want to have your Spanish content in a separate classroom from your English content. And I'm gonna click Demo Class. I'm gonna pick a grade level and I'm gonna hit Create Classroom. Now from here, this is where you have a couple of different options to roster students in your class. And the first is that over here I have this username and password. I can go and click that, and I can actually go and create my own usernames and passwords here. I can auto-generate those out, and all I have to do to get started in this class is click finish, and that's all I have to do. The second way is that I can actually use Google and Microsoft credentials here, so the kids can go to tinker.com, they can log in with their Google and Microsoft credentials. I'm gonna click that, and this actually gives me two different options. The first puts the onus to join the class more on the teacher, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that, and then all you have to do is paste their usernames in here. Click finish, and when they go to tinker.com, they just use the login with Google button, the login with Microsoft button. The second option, and this is actually a really important one with the Spanish curriculum too, is this share a class code. And so the idea if a kid was first joining a class is that they can go to tinker.com slash class code, put in the class code, and then they can log in with their Google and Microsoft account. And when they do that, then they will be rostered in the classroom. Now, if you wanted to have a student be in both an English version of the class and a Spanish version of the class, what you can also do is you can have them log into Tinker. They can be in the, Engl in the English version first. They can log in, they can see that classroom. And then right next to that classroom, there's gonna be a join class button. And all they have to do to get into the Spanish version of the Spanish class is go and put this class code in there and they can be in that second classroom for Spanish. Now, the reason that Spanish has to have its own separate classroom is that as soon as you assign the Spanish curriculum to a class, what it will actually do is it will actually change the students' dashboards to Spanish too. 
So the student dashboard will be completely in Spanish along with the curriculum. And so that's why the Spanish version has to be kind of its own separate thing. And actually, I'm going to come over here to the settings and rename this. Uh, we're going to rename this Spanish demo class so I can show you how to assign the Spanish curriculum as well. So I'm going to click Save Settings. And so once I have this class created, once I have this class created, no matter how you want to roster it, how you use the Spanish curriculum is you can either start on the lessons page and you can click this big blue assign a course button or you can come over here to where it says courses and you can click that button. So I'm going to click this big blue assign a course button. It's going to take me to the courses page and I'm actually going to go to the elementary school curriculum to show you how to know which content has Spanish. So as you look at the elementary school curriculum, the Spanish curriculum is only at the elementary school level right now. If you look on the course cards, the ones that have Spanish have this ES button. So you can see ES, 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 ES. Basically, it's all of the coding curriculum with the exceptions of Tinker Jr. Tinker Jr. would require Spanish voiceover, um, bar the Barbie course, and then some of the more electives and the STEM courses. Those are the ones that don't have Spanish. All of the coding curriculum at the um, elementary level does have Spanish. You can see that ES logo. And how you assign Spanish is you just click on the course card, you click assign, and the first thing that's gonna come up is a language picker. So you pick Spanish, click set language, and then you go and you assign it to that specific class. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I, you can either choose all the lessons at once or you can actually curate those lessons a little bit. For now, we'll just choose all at once. I'm going to click next and I'm going to go find that Spanish demo class that we did. I have lots of demo classes. You can see that I need to clean some of these out. There it is. We're going to pick that Spanish demo class. We're going to click assign and that's all you have to do to really get started in Spanish. So really remember the keys here is that number one, you want to build a class that is for Spanish only. You can do that from the kind of rostering part at the beginning, or you can simply create a class, give kids that are already in an English class a class code, and they can join the class that way. The second piece with the Spanish curriculum is that you just wanna go through the normal assign a course process. You can either start on the lessons page of the class and click that big blue assign a course button, or go to the courses page, as you look at the Tinker Elementary School curriculum, the ones that have Spanish have that little ES logo. Click on that, click assign, and once you and then you can pick the language. And once you pick that language, it will convert not only the curriculum into Spanish, but also the students' dashboards.